25, got one running in. Stop, taser, taser. Next rig is 25, I'm behind this vehicle now. Oh, oh dear. He's going left, left, left. He's going into the golf club. Yeah, we're out onto the golf course, onto the golf course. He's using the tracks at the minute. Stand by. We're going around the perimeter track at the minute. We're on the north side of the golf club. Person with a gun. That sounds like a good one for the firearms unit. Exit 25. Show me towards. Oh, yeah. Exit 25. I've got eyes on. It's a IC3 male red jacket. Two, oh, please. Show me your hands. Exit 25. We've got gang members are under attack now. Guys getting cover. Exit 25. We've got more people coming in. Exit 25. Get all the local divisions out of here. Hey guys, it's your boy Dodo McGee and welcome back to another video of LSPDFR, the mod for GTA 5 where we get to play as a police officer. So let me set the scene for you in this video. The year is 2008 and we are doing a little bit of sort of like a retro patrol here. I thought I would give this a go for our end of the month patrol video. Going to be starting today as a member of the local policing team. So we've got our good friend here. He's uh, our old school colleague, uh, Justin. And to start with today, we're going to be using the iconic uh, Astra. So let's uh, jump on in here. Let's show you what she's got. Here she is. She's uh, nothing uh, nothing really to shout about. Just a relatively simple lighting pattern. Just a little hatchback we've got here. 57 plate. And uh, yeah, should be a lot of fun to use. To make this video doubly interesting, we're also going to be uh, switching between a couple of different uh, divisions and roles in this one. So we'll start off with the local policing team. Let's let the control room know that we are starting our patrol. X-ray Victor 25, show me state 2. Copy that. Wonderful stuff. And right, let's see what 2008 Anderton has for us. Let's go. New incident received. Oh. Pillbox Hill. Units respond code 3. Yeah, we'll go to that. We're right here. x 25 show me towards. New incident allocated. We're literally right around the corner from that. We've got our old school siren on us. Of course, well. So let's get up around here. I don't know where the alleyway is there, if I'm honest with you, but not too far away, so. Officers report. We have backup required. A suspect resisting arrest in oh, uh, Hillbox Hill. x 25 got one running. It's a uh, IC1 male, white shirt, blue jeans. Come on, Justin, let's get him. Get him. Let's get a taser. Dude, stop! Oh. Dude, stop! Taser, taser! Lay down, dude. Lay back down. Attempt Yo! Lay down! Wait a sec, buddy! Get your ass on the floor. Lay down! On the floor. This. Hands on your back. Got him. Alrighty. I've given him a little bit of a blooded nose, but. In Pillbox Hill. Alrighty, okay. X Vix 25, I've got one detained. Copy that. X ray, Victor 2, bye. I mean, this guy's running. I hope this is indeed the um, the uh, the suspect here and not the um, aggrieved that I've just beaten up, but we'll work it out in a second. This moment of time, you're under arrest on suspicion of robbery. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned. Something which you later rely on in court, and anything you do say may be given in evidence. Let's see if he uh, understands all of that. He was not going down, was he? He was not going down. Right, okay, so you understand the fact that you're under arrest, buddy? I'm not being really but it's disgusting abuse of power. Right, okay, fair enough. Whatever's, whatever's. Right, uh, let's see here. What's your name? He's given us his name. Let's get him run through with uh, this batch, potentially. So this is Billy Goodman, born the 26th of uh, October, 1998. We'll make that 1988, why not? <laughs> 
Okay, fine. Let's see. Right, well, he's uh, all, all good by the sounds of it. Uh, there's no, obviously, tablets or anything these times. So we're going to have to get in the car to have a look at the in-car computer for um, what, his, uh, what his story is. Nothing really too much to know there. So, all righty. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to go upstairs. Uh, in fact, let's give him... Let's give him a search, and then we'll get him in the car, and then we'll go and see if there's anything upstairs that we can note of. So, let me see here. So, you've got to get searched on Section 32 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act. Anything legal on you I should know about? Do I have to answer that? No, no, I guess not. Uh, buddy, um, Justin, would you mind just giving, doing the honours and giving him a search? Let's see. Uh, he's got stolen goods. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. There we are. Right. Let's get him uh, sat into the car then. Not on my side. We'll get him sat in the car for the time being and then uh, Justin can wait with him while I go upstairs and see if there's an aggrieved up there as well, actually. Right. Get, get in. Right. Completely Justin, insane. you look after him for a sec. So let's see. He came from up here. Wouldn't really class this as an alleyway, personally, but let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a lady here. Hello. Hey, man. Hello. Hello, madam. Are you okay? No interaction options here sec, available. Buddy. So, Hello, madam. Are you okay? Uh, let's see here. Assistance. Uh, can I help you? Are you okay? What did you say to me, Vic? I'm asking if you are okay. Was it yourself that called us? I might have pocketed up by accident. So okay, can you tell me what happened? Why are you up here hiding? Do I need a lawyer? Well, this is weird. Okay, Matt, we've got someone stopped down downstairs in relation to a robbery that we got called for. Have you been the victim of crime today? Snitches get stitches, you know? Right, okay. Okay, is the person that we've just run off, he's a, he's, he's a white guy wearing a white shirt and blue jeans, is that the person that's attacked you? Yes, it is, through the book. Oh, right, okay. We're getting more on track here. Are you willing to make a statement about that? You better believe it. Okay, wonderful. Fantastic, fantastic. Alrighty. Uh, let's start with, what is your name? Have you got uh, some kind of ID card or something like some that? ID, huh? Thanks. Wonderful. This is, uh, this is Kate Thompson. Right, wonderful. Kate, uh, are you going to need us to pick someone, or get someone to pick you up, or are you kind of good? Uh, do you want to call someone for you? Can't you take me? Um... I mean, I'm going to say no, only because we've got the suspect in our car at the minute. So, um, yeah, it, you probably don't want to be sat next to each other. What about a taxi? I can call you a taxi. Only if you're paying for it. Well, I'm not going to promise the, the, the constabulary is going to pay for it, okay? But is that... Do you need any medical assistance? Okay, she's got a minor injury there. Okay, any other way I can help you? No? Okay, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's, um, let's call her some kind of... Um, Let's get someone to pick her up. Right, okay. Well, someone will be in contact about getting that statement from you. Let me just grab uh, some uh, details from you here. Let me make sure I write down her name and whatnot. Uh, contact details. Um, you know, what phone number we should get you on. Home address. And we'll come and take that statement from you. Okay? Okay, do you want to just follow me? I think our taxi's getting a little bit lost. So, we'll, uh, we'll walk you downstairs. Um... Oh, right. Is, is this the person that's picking you up? All righty. That's the person that's picking you up. Okay. I don't I don't rate their driving, but all righty. Oh, there's a van on a traffic stop right there. Can I... Uh, uh, yo. Yo, can you come back? All righty. Let's get... Uh, let's just get in here and uh, let's do his uh, arrest record. So, it's going to be for uh, robbery is what we're going to go with here. So, let's see. Theft. Uh, robbery. Didn't have any weapons or anything on him like that. So there we go. That is that. There we go. They've, they've, they've done a big loop and they've come back around. Mind your back, Justin. They're coming in hot. Wonderful stuff. Right. Okie dokie. Guys, could you uh, take this guy for us just down to custody? I know we're not far, but uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind just taking him, that'd be, uh, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thanks very much. There we go. If we can just get him loaded up, that'll be absolutely magnificent. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Right. Okay. We've done his arrest record. They're going to get him down to uh, custody. And uh, yeah, let's change division, shall we?
All right, and we're now playing as the uh, road policing unit once again. The traffic cops got this lovely uh, marked E61 here. And we've been asked to come and assist with a pursuit that's ongoing. They are on the move here, so let's just cut the siren. I don't know who it is we're chasing. Is it this guy with the trailer? It is. Oh dear, oh dear. Okie dokie, alright. x 25 I'm behind this vehicle now. It's a uh, black bison with a silver trailer. Registration, Lima Sango 67, Charlie Echo Zulu. We're currently going westbound on the Mike 213. Uh, stand by. Is he going for the exit? Is he going for the exit? No, he's not going to the exit. He's committed, committed. He's going to be, to be going through the uh, 213 underpass. Speeds are currently 50 in a 70. Traffic conditions are medium. Pedestrian levels are low due to roadside. Visibility is clear. Road conditions are dry. It's currently going to be low risk. Uh, T-pack train driver, suitable vehicle, lights and sirens are on. Clear high degree authority and more T-pack units to walk, please. All righty. Okay, I've got no idea why this guy is running, so let's try and get it run through. There we go. That's uh, okay. There, we're going to offset ever so slightly here. Oh dear, I'm worried about that trailer flipping. Belongs to an Antonio Gibson. Don't know what his deal is, but there's no uh, markers on the car. It's now going to be a right, right, right onto Manchester Road West. He's going offside using both sides of what is effectively a dual carriageway. Speeds are 5 and 0. Going to upgrade to medium risk. He's gone up onto Beach Hill and then he's recommitted back onto Manchester Road West, heading into the city centre. Oh, oh dear. He's crashed through a lamppost, he's lost the trailer, the trailer's now in the middle of Manchester Road West, he's resipped twice, stand by, and it's now going to be committed onto West End Road, heading generally southbound. Oh god, my. He's, he's trying, he's trying his best. Further resip, back onto Manchester Road West, heading eastbound. Oh dear, oh dear, is he going to lose it? Requesting T-Pack unit. We'll get another T-Pack unit in the game here. Got a couple of more T-Pack units coming to the game here. He's going left, left, left. He's going into the golf club. This could be it. This could be it. He's going round the back. He's going onto the golf course itself. Oh dear me. Yeah, we're out onto the golf course, onto the golf course. He's using the tracks at the minute. Stand by. Good grief. Requesting an pass. I do not know what this guy's plan is, to be honest with you. We're going around the perimeter track at the minute. We're on the north side of the golf club. We've got eyes on suspect heading west. Oh. He's crashed through a lamppost. He's going back out into the car park. Driver's door is open. Could be looking for a decamp. Coming out of the golf course again now, and it is a left, left, left. Stand by. That's it. Getting box, 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 box. Out of that car, genius. Out of that car. Show me your hands, hands, stop, 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 stop. Attention all units. Suspect apprehended. There's no way out. Car's clear. That's why you're back. We've got him. Activate too far, I've got one detained. Let's get this car. Oh, dearie me. Deary me, how's our car doing? I whacked it a little bit at, at the end there. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, I'll take that. It's it's, it's some light damage. It will buff out. All right, if everyone could just sort their cars out for a second. Uh, right, you, my friend, are most certainly under arrest for uh, failing to stop for police. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you like to rely on court, and anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand that caution? 
Let's force imprisonment to help. Right, keep your voice down. We don't need to be playing silly buggers, okay? Do you understand the fact that you're under arrest? What's the reason for this bullshit? The, the crazy-ass pursuit around the golf course we just went on, my guy. That's what it's all, all about. Uh, let's see if he wants to give us his uh, name. What's your name? He has given us a name. Let's run a check here. This is Vince Miller. Can I help you, madam? Do you want to go somewhere else? Good grief. Right, Vince Miller. He's got a valid driver's license. He's not showing as wanted on PNC. So, uh, you know, there is that. All right, let's just survey the scene a little bit here. We've got a decent turnout here. Lots of uh, traffic cops have come through. I'm going to roll my car back ever so slightly. Just so members of the public can actually get through here in terms of... Um, pedestrians because they're getting a little bit irritating right so vince miller let's uh check him actually out in the car see what his dealio is right so the vehicle itself here it is is all in order belongs to an antonio gibson uh who lives on baker street uh intel for weapons uh needed to attend a interview for something or other but uh, that's the registered owner and the guy that's actually driving it uh lives way up in the county uh, he's had a community resolution for drugs before, a couple of tickets in relation to just some general traffic -y stuff, but nothing too major, so I don't really know why this guy is running. Well done, genius. Well done. Oh, right on, my guy. Well, you're going you're to need to get searched under Section 32 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act. Uh, is there anything on you that we need to know about? Can everyone go away? There is something illegal on you. Okay, any weapons? You might have a gun. Okay, do you have any drugs? Maybe a baggie? Okay, fine. Just, 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 what, what am I going to find specifically? You might have a pistol. Right. Okay. Well, everyone just hold tight here. We might need to get ARV out in a second. Let's give this guy a quick pat down. See what the deal is. Nothing. Nothing on him. Anyway, let's give the uh, car a check as well. Only just realised that a bison's a four-seater. Okay, good to know, I guess. Let's take a look in here. Is there a gun in here? No, not quite. He's got uh, a photo of um, his family, uh, two crowbars, uh, and a balaclava. So, all right. Hmm. Interesting. I'm wondering if it's going to be a case of he's going equipped to steal. Um, and my other thought is uh, this car could very well still be stolen. So, um, uh, Vince. Vince was his name, well, well, wasn't it? Um, this vehicle, it's not registered to you, is it? It, 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 it? It's definitely not, my guy. It's registered to someone else. Is, have you got permission to use it? No, you just borrowed it to run some errands. Okay. Right. Let's get the control room to call the owner of the car. And uh, let's see what the crack is. Has, the, has permission to drive it? Okay. Is he on the insurance? He's the name of the driver on the policy. Fine. All right. And whilst we're here, has he got an MOT? Valid MOT. Okay, so the car's squeaky clean. So, okay. Right, Vince, there's a moment in time. You're further on the res on suspicion of going equipped to steal. Specifically burglary for the, uh, the couple of crowbars you've got and the balaclava. So the same caution applies. And necessities for your arrest, by the way, are to allow for a prompt and effective investigation, prevent your disappearance, prevent any injury. Um, if I hadn't also already, you're also on arrest for dangerous driving. I think I might just go and fail to stop before. Definitely also dangerous driving. Because uh, I think your trailer's somewhere up there as well. All right, well, the last thing to do, I guess, is to get a um, get a breath test done. So uh, I'm going to be asking you to comply with a preliminary test here at the roadside. It's going to be a breathalyzer, okay? And if I'm on camera, uh, well, this is it. Back in 2008, we ain't got body cams, not in Anderside anyway. And I don't know if there's um, any CCTV on here. So I'm going to have to just go with it anyway. I'll just warn you that failure or refusal to provide, regardless of whether there's a camera or not, is going to result in your arrest and potential further prosecution, okay? Sure, wonderful. Right, let's do this test then. In fact, buddy, would you mind doing that breathalyzer for me? Well done, Justin. Let's see what we get here. You're not taking that test? Vince, what did I just tell you, my, my, my guy? If you don't do it, you're going to get further arrested for it. So let's just be doing the test, shall we? Let's give it a, a, another go, shall we? Come on. Let's go. Let's be having you. Thank you, Ken. Not taking that test? All right, you know what, Vince? I haven't got time to play games with you, so you're further under arrest for failing to provide, okay? The same caution applies. It's a preserved policing power. Right, uh, let's get a van out here to take young Vince away. 
This, um... Wow. This is pretty bashed up, but we'll get some kind of recovery for this. I think just a tow truck will be fine. X-Ray Victor 25, requesting recovery. There we go, we'll just get a tow truck for this. Tow truck, assistance required in Rockford Hills. That looks like that's our van coming in hot. Good grief, good grief. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. You're an idiot. You're... You're just an idiot. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you do- Clowns! The pair of you. Absolute clowns. Just take this guy away. Let me do his arrest report in the car. So at least you got that going for you. Alrighty, let's see. So Vince Miller. So it's going to be uh, theft. Uh, going quick for theft or burglary. And I think the rest is all just going to be traffic related. He didn't have anything on towards on him. Uh, so there's going to be a uh, failure to cooperate with the preliminary test. Dangerous driving and failing to stop for police. I think that was just about everything. Cars is, so that's all um, That's all good. Which has just been picked up, I believe. Can't see where it's got me. Alrighty, well whilst they try and do a million point turn, you guys can all uh, get the hell out of here. Thanks very much for everyone turning out. I appreciate all of you. Um, uh, yeah, in the meantime, let's have another division change, shall we? Citizens reporting a person with a gun in Ooh. Rancho. Person with a gun, that sounds like a good one for the firearms unit. Excellent, it's 2 5, show me towards. New oh, come on, people, out the way. Copy. Okay, so it's round the back of where we uh, currently are at the minute. So it's not Grove Street for once. Quite often it's Grove Street. What we'll probably do is stop short uh, and get kitted up. Uh, but we'll get a little bit closer to see if it's one of these where we need to speak to an informant. It is in a gang area. So uh, this, uh, this could be pretty interesting. Oh, let's get across here. Train, train, train. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this is a heavy, heavy gang area, this. Oh, come on, people. Out the way. Out the way. Right, we're looking for a witness somewhere around here. Oh, I see someone more waving. They're over there. x 25 we are on scene. Alrighty, let's go then. Hello, madam. How are we doing? Hi. Hello, did you call us? Just saw someone brandishing a weapon across the street. Okay. When did this happen? About five minutes ago. Okay. Stay inside. Uh, we'll try and find him. Thanks, officer. You're so kind. Well, that's fantastic. All right. X -Mix 25. Uh, the subject is going to be in the area. It was about five minutes ago. Right, Justin. Let's get uh, kitted up, shall we? Let's get rid of the hat. Let's put a uh, balaclava on. Let's put a helmet on. We'll get some... Uh, Get some goggles on there as well. And let's also put on some gloves. Here we go. Lovely. Right, let's grab a gun from the boot. Let's grab the rifle. Lovely stuff. Here we go. Got our um, G36 ready to go. Justin, your balaclava looks a little bit stretched. But all right, whatever. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's see um, where... We are looking here. So it's uh, it's on the road behind us. So he's down that way. All right. Justin, let's get in the car. Let's do this this way. In you jump. All right. Let's cut the lights here. We are in an unmarked. So that should hopefully go in our favor. Let's just see what we can see here. Oh, yeah. Exit 25. I've got eyes on. It's a IC3 male red jacket. Out, 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 out. Copy that. Drew, oh, please put your, show me your hands. He's pointing point the gun. It's a flare gun. Show me your hands, show me your hands. Dude, put it down. Oh, shit. Put it down, put it down. Stop, stop, stop. Cease fire, cease fire, cease fire. Get on the... Oh, God, we got shots fired from somewhere else. Oh, no. X-Mix 25, we've got gang members are under attack now. Guys, getting cover. Oh dear, oh dear. Copy that. On the way. 
Agency 5, we've got multiple gunmen, multiple gunmen. We copy you. On standby. Agency 5, we've got multiple gunmen. He's running, he's running. Move up, move up. Where's the rest of my team? I've no idea. Why have we got pandas turning up? We need firearms units. Oh shit, he's right here. Reloaded. Oh god, we got... Okay, so far we've got more people coming in. Oh, get behind the car. Echo 25, get all the local divisions out of here. Gotta Moving up. Are we good? I don't see uh, anyone. Moving up. Holy damn. x ray Victor 2-5. We're going to need multiple ambulances and multiple crews down here. We've got a lot of people down. Roger anyone behind that. this? No. Okay. I think we're clear. I think we are clear. Good God. Holy crap. X-Mix 25, this is going to be a major incident, major incident. We are on the corner of Holland Street and Jamestown Street. Uh, it's a mass casualty event, mass shooting. So far? Roger that. We've got multiple firearms units on scene, multiple firearms from suspects in the ground. We're in a heavily anti-police area. It's also on a heavily uh, trafficked road. So far? Roger. Access egress is going to be along Holland Street with route to the nearest um, hospital, which is going to be down here in Davis. Um, I've got uh, multiple farms units on scene. I need more ambulances, really. I just need a lot of ambulances. We have got approximately 10 people down. Roger that. Holy... Let's just get all of the ambulances rolling. Holy crap. Right, let's also get a complete stop on any kind of traffic around here. Let's get everything shut down. Holy crap. No one's going to go to this guy? We've got ambulances on scene. No one's going to go to that guy? Okay, I'll go to this guy then, shall I? We'll cover that gun as well. Right, let's try our best here. Tend to injure ped. Holy damn. I said this was in a heavy gang area. The actual guy that was initially there, I don't even know where he's gone at the minute. He had a flare gun. He wasn't that big of a deal, but then all of a sudden, we're taking rounds from everywhere. Nah, I can't get this one back. God damn it. Right, let's take a little jog over here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Right, you, get the hell out of here. Any joy over here? No, that's CPR failed as well. God damn it. Uh, where's the... Oh, there's the guy that we were originally here for. Way up here. See if we're going to help this guy. Let's tend to him. Still got people wondering what the hell's going on here. Naturally. Still got paramedics trying to sort out whatever the hell mess we've got here. See if we get anything from him. No, nothing. God damn it. Alrighty, the scene's kind of set up now. This crew's uh, still going around. We've got one, two ambulances that have now left. Uh, let's just get one more ambulance in case they're still working on people. Because those other two ambulances are probably at capacity. Heart down. Well, we had another couple of ARVs come and join us, as you can see. They're, these are both uh, marked um, E60s, E61s. I always get confused about the model. But more 5 Series. <laughs> Obviously, we did have some local uh, units come and help us up there. There's another um, firearms car up there. Ford Focus. There's another one behind us here. Deary me. Deary me. And I... 
I want to say this person literally got hit in the crossfire. I'm pretty sure this person was just going through, as in driving through the scene, and they, like, got clipped by someone as they went through. There you go, there's another ambulance just leaving. Now, they've, oh, they've managed to save one person, but then they've had one, two, three, four more deceased, including one cop, Jim Kaput. Jim Kaput is most certainly Kaput at this point. There you go, they're going to get out of here, and then we've got another ambulance just arriving by the looks of it. See what they can do. Oh, it looks like these guys are finally going to come to the guy that we were all here for initially. This guy with the flare gun. Let's see here. No, no, can't get him back either. God damn it. All right. Hot damn. There are a lot of tents this scene. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A dozen fatalities at this one. A dozen fatalities. For a guy that had a flare gun. And he dropped it as soon as he got shot. But unfortunately, uh, the local gang decided they wanted to get a piece of the action. And, uh, well, here we are. I'm going to put the rifle away. We'll get the coroner teams down here. Obviously, we lost one uh, police officer as well. Uh, I think uh, just in the middle there, I want to say. Well, there are our forensics teams. I started to get three of them down here just for the the sheer scale of the cleanup that's going to be required on this one. Hey. Hear me. This is going to be a lot of body bags. A lot of body, body bags. What are you doing? The vast majority of the death appears to be in this corner. This guy's the, uh, the police officer. He's one of the firearms guys. So... Shame. Shame that one. Alright, well this scene I imagine is going to be here for a, uh, a fair amount of time. So we'll, we'll let the forensics teams finish up what they were doing. And uh, me and Justin are uh, going to go back to base. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing this retro patrol today. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, of course. Let's run through what we've had. So when we were uh, doing a little bit of roleplay with the local policing team, we had a alleyway robbery, which was actually on some kind of overpass thing. Uh, and a guy uh, has uh, stolen some items, but we quickly managed to taser him and also kind of beat his face a little bit. So that was one going off to custody. Then, of course, we switched over into the uh, traffic unit, the uh, roads policing unit, where we had a guy making off in his truck and trailer. Trailer very very quickly got lost and uh, after a short excursion through the golf course we managed to get him into custody as well and then last but no means least we switched over to the tactical firearms unit into an arv here in this lovely unmarked bmw we got called to reports of a person brandishing a weapon turned out to be a flare gun and all would have probably ended up fine if the local gang had decided they didn't want to get involved and it turned into a mass casualty event with i think about 12 people going off to the morgue as I say, if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like and let me know which was your favourite bit in the comments down below. Also, consider subscribing to the channel for more British LSPDFR content coming every single week. I'd love to have you along for the ride. But until the next video, I've been Dodo McGee, and I'll see you back on patrol.